This is a poison and treatment and cure as well. For whom? The crying. He says the crying is a poison for body. This explanation. It has dual character. The character of being poison and character of being medicine. Why? He says the crying, the restlessness, the disturbance, the upset, being upset. This is a poison for body. Because body is weakened because of up unrestness. And this is the cure and treatment for the ruh, the crying. This is poison for the body. Body becomes ill. And this crying is the treatment for the ruh, for the spirit. Spirit becomes purified and spirit becomes re de re promoted because of crying and pain. So he says this, this pain has a dual character. This pain is a poison for the body and the treatment for the spirit. Then Maulana Rum says in the words of, he, he explains, Mehrame ihosh juz behosh ne marzubara mushtari chungosh ne Murana Rum says that only to the senseless is this sense confided. This is a special sense which he says, which I have explained that pain at the same time is a poison and is a treatment. This is Zahar poison and this is taryak, the cure of that poison. And Maulana Rum says that this is a matter of special sense, a special wisdom, a special understanding. And he says that this sense would be appreciated only by those who become senseless. This sense would be available only to those who become senseless. So there is another sense which opens like a fountain when one becomes senseless. So there is a sense in being senseless. Sense in senselessness. If you become behosh, senseless, only then you will achieve this sense which I have stated above. When he talks about the senseless, behosh, the senseless, he means, try O oh people, he says, O oh my sons, O oh lovers of Almighty Allah and those who want to understand the complaint of spirit and those who want to become connected with the divinity, with Lord, those who be, want to become the lovers of Almighty Allah, what they should do, they should try to become senseless. What does it mean? That they should lose the sense of the lust of this world. There are two kinds of sense. One sense refers to the lust of this world. The greed of this world. So there are lot many lusts, material lusts, the lust of position in this world, the lust of power, the lust of money, the lust of wealth, the sexual lusts, the lust of soul, lust for arrogance, Lust for respect, being respected. Lust of the gains of this world. Lust of the monetary, monetary interests in this world. This corporeal world. This material world. He says there are hundreds 
and thousands of lusts and greeds. And you have a sense, you know. That's why you are working and striving hard to achieve these things because there is a sense behind these actions, behind the struggle. If you are not respected anywhere, you, you become angry. You think that I deserve this respect which I was not given. He says, this is the sense of this world. If somebody does not stand for you, you become angry. You are not pleased with him. And you think whether you utter from your mouth or not, but you think this is some disrespectful man. He doesn't respect me. You are not happy with him. This is a sense of being respected. You want to collect more and more money and wealth. You want to collect more and more power of this world. More and more positions in this world. This is a sense which instigates you. Which pushes you toward these ends. Which throws you in the ocean of this lust. And you get drowned. He says, this is one sense. This is the sense, in other words, known as lust. Hubbu shahawat. He says, this is a sense which we are having. And this sense is controlling our life. We are under the control of this sense, under the control of this lust. When Molana Rum says, you can't get the sense unless you become senseless. Now he talks that try to become senseless. It means try to become lustless. Try to take greed out of your soul. Try, try to take greed out of your soul. Try to take wishes out of your soul. Try to purify your spirit, your heart and your soul from all of these lusts and the sense behind these lusts, which is functioning behind the lusts and greeds. He says, this is the meaning of becoming senseless. And moreover, this is the sense of other things about you, then there is a higher stage of becoming senseless. This is the lower stage of senselessness. And then there is a higher stage of senselessness. This lower stage is to forget Masiv Allah. All lusts which you feel in your heart about other things in your environment, in your atmosphere, in this world, and the higher stage of becoming senseless is to finish the sense of your own self. That you exist. If, if you achieve the denial of your existence in your heart, if you negate yourself in yourself, definitely all lusts will automatically go away. So that was to forget Masiv Allah. And this is to forget yourself. You should try to forget yourself. Then you will become completely senseless. Then there would be no sense of neither this nor me. So this is the first stage of becoming senseless. He says when you will become senseless, only then that particular sense would be revealed unto you. Sense of his love, sense of his nearness, sense of his beauty, sense of his closeness, sense of piety, sense of his friendship, sense of the players of the divinity. There are some other senses 
there are some other beauties which are totally hidden for us which are concealed which are never weighed unveiled for us because we are already prisoners to these lusts and these worldly senses unless you become out of this prison of lusts and prison of senses you will not be blessed with that great divine sense when sayyidina musa alayhi salam was on the peak of tur and he heard his voice kallama allah musa taklima when he heard him a wish came into his heart a wish emerged in his heart and he asked almighty allah rabbi arini anzur ilaik o oh my lord unveil yourself to me i want to see you he said oh my lord unveil your beauty to me i am emphasizing on the word me unveil yourself to me on me so that i may see you so when he said unveil to me and i want to see you this was a sense this was a sense which was differentiating between you and me in these worlds there was a sense which sense which was differentiating between you and me he had a sense at that time when he was speaking when he was asking when he was requesting he had a sense that i am me and he is he that's why he was asking him something for himself this was the first sense and when this sense exists everybody has his own station and these things apply to everyone according to his own position for us this principle would be applicable in our according to our station for great people would be applicable according to their position and station and for ambiya would be applicable according to their station and for the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam would be applicable according to his position the application of principle is variable varies from place to place from person to person from station to station so don't consider that our position is similar to the position of a prophet no i am talking about his position his station he asked him something about himself so this was the sense which was prevailing areni anzur ilaik what happened afterward he was brought to a state of senselessness because in this question there existed some sense sense of the lord existence of the lord and sense of himself in this question this question referred to that sense which was differentiating between his existence and his own self almighty allah after this question sent a tajalli and because of that tajalli a small unveiling of his beauty with that unveiling what happened he was put into the condition put into the state of behosh mehram e ihosh juz behosh ne he said musa unless you are in the state of this hosh this sense you can't understand the reality now he put him into the state of senseless kharra musa saiqa he became senseless yani that particular sense was taken away from him this is the meaning of senseless